Today I'm going to show you how to fix this crack and this hole in your fiberglass. So the first thing we want to do in this fiberglass repair is we want to sand or grind the edge of this hole so it's a gradual transition into the hole. This will give a nice area for the fiberglass to lay in and give it more area to bond with. If there's any loose fiberglass around, we want that ground off and as smooth as possible. The next thing we need to do is address this crack. And when you have a crack that is cracked through the fiberglass, I'm not talking about a small crack, I'm talking about a crack that's deep. What you need to do is you need to grind a V in that crack. So grind out that crack, again, making a transition or a puddle area to lay the fiberglass in. The next step here is I'm going to take my orbital sander with some 80 grit sandpaper on it. Now you can use it by hand, you can, but you want to use a coarse grit sandpaper, at least an 80 grit. And we're going to sand the area around this crack and in the crack just to smooth everything out. Make sure there's no loose fiberglass. You may not be able to get it all, but do the best you can. Um, we're going to do the crack here, and then we're going to go down and do the same thing around the area of this hole. Now we have a nice area that's all prepped out for the fiberglass resin and the fiberglass matting. It's time to mix up a little resin and get our matting ready to lay in the fiberglass. So this is the fiberglass resin I'll be using. And then I've cut some matting into some small manageable strips. And we're going to mix up a little resin first. I'm using a Bondo board, but you can use a cup. It might be easier for you. I'm just used to doing this. So I'll pour a little bit out here. I use about 10 drops of the activate. Be sure to follow the mixing instructions on the can. Now we're gonna uh, mix it in fold it in, stir it in, and get that to start to activate. I have cleaned this repair area with some automotive prep solvent. You can use rubbing alcohol, and then I blew it off to make sure there wasn't any dust on it. Okay, so the next step is we're going to take your fiberglass resin and a brush, and we're going to spread a liberal coat around the area we're going to be repairing in the hole and in the crack and we want to make sure that whole area is covered anywhere where we're going to lay the fiberglass matting. So the next step is we're going to take our uh, fiberglass, our pre-cut fiberglass matting. We're going to take a piece of that and we're going to soak it really well in the resin and I'm just putting it on my brush here and I'm laying it in that hole and then spread it as smooth as I can because you want it to be as smooth as you can because you, you are going to have to sand this off, a lot of this off. So now I'm going to take another piece, I'm going to lay it over top, and then I'm going to take some resin on the brush and soak that thoroughly and smooth it in. We're going to continue this process until that hole is filled. It's probably going to take three or four coats of matting. We're going to continue this process over that cracked area that we ground out and fill that up until it's level. Once the fiberglass is dried after an hour to two hours, then you need to sand off the excess resin. I'm using an angle grinder with a 36 grit Rolock disc on it. I find it to be the quickest and you can smooth it out and you, your goal is to get it flat. Now you can do it by hand or whatever method you have of sanding. So we'll repeat that on the cracked area. So now I'm gonna finish off the sanding process making this flat with my orbital sander and some 80 grit sandpaper. You can use a hand block with some 80 grit on it and block it in an X pattern over the fiberglass and that will get it straight because what we're looking for is to get this flat and straight in preparation for primer. If we take a closer look at this spot, you can see how flat that is and that is the goal and that's what you wanna try to achieve 
in order to give you uh, the nicest finish. So now that the fiberglass was totally smooth, there was a few more, a few waves and imperfections in the fiberglass. So sometimes you may have to put a little bit of body filler or poly putty over it to fill any pinholes or air pockets or waves that are in that fiberglass. So that's what I've done here. I used some poly putty, um, a product called icing. There's a a lot of pro different products out there that you can use and I laid it over there mixed it up and follow the mixing instructions on the back and laid it in and now I'm going to sand it smooth very similar to sanding the fiberglass although this sands a lot easier and once this is smooth we'll be ready for primer so the sandpaper I'm using here is a 180 grit sandpaper um, it's not super coarse, but it's not uh, really fine either. So what I'm going to do is knock down the heavy stuff with the 180 grit, and then I'll go over it with a, a finer sandpaper, like a 320. Um, now, as far as painting over or priming over, you don't want to prime over anything coarser than a 320. So 180 you really don't want to prime or paint over that. You want to be at least 320 or below. And the higher the number in the sandpaper, the finer the sandpaper is. So now I have finished all my sanding with some 320 sandpaper and I'm ready to prime. So what I've done is I've taped up some of the edges just not to get primer over any of the parts or anything that are on this panel and the stripe. And I've mixed up some urethane 2K primer, and it's a two-part primer that hardens over the body filler. And what this does is it eliminates scratches from bleeding through that primer or paint. So you want to apply two to three coats of primer here. That'll give you enough primer to be able to sand this and get it ready for paint. Hey, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps out the channel. If you're interested in learning how to paint this panel, there's a link in the description and check out my other how-to videos, all things automotive. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you and we'll see you next time.